Okay, as we just explained now, this catheter with the transducer convert the blood pressure oscillation in the arteries into waveforms on the monitor. And it's kind of universal. Wherever you go in any ICU, if you see this, it's always in red for some reason. But these are the waveforms that transmitted by the transducer of the arterial line. When you see this red line here with these waveforms, that means the patient has an arterial line. And these are the continuous blood pressure monitoring reading, systole and diastole. This is the mean arterial blood pressure here. And this is the pulse based on the arterial line, which is really re the real pulse. And this is the electrical pulse, if I can see 79. And they are the same. So as you see, the waveform here, it's kind of present uh, the the, the, the cardiac cycle, if I can say. So you start with this spike, which is a systole, and then you reach a peak, and then you start coming down to have a notch, and then further down. So a, uh, the systole here, and this represents most of the time aortic valve closure and pulmonary valve closure, and this is diastole. Again, I think we could sit and talk on this for an hour uh, because there's other variations. I'll talk about some of them briefly. But I just want you to know that a, it's a systole, reach a plateau, and then there is a notch, and this is the diastole. Now, you have to pay attention that the waveform sometimes gives you a clue that there is something not right with the arterial line. For example, if you see something like this, this is probably not a right wave form, and sometimes they call it a dampened wave form, and um, this kind of underestimate the blood pressure. And basically, most of the time, there's a problem with the tubing system or the transducer. Uh, or the catheter itself so the first thing I tell nurses is to always whenever you have a problem with the arterial line waveform or suspect there's a problem reset it they call it zero the a line you tell the nurse hey can you re zero the a line or the arterial line we call it a line or reset it and flush it make sure there is no clots or anything in it and then check again if the waveform is getting better um, to be like this for example and also make sure is the catheter uh, did the catheter move is there a mal positioned catheter so you need to check on that on the other hand you could have something like this for example And this is the opposite. This is a spiked waveform, and this kind of overestimate the blood pressure. And this could be for similar problems: a blood clot, the tubing is short, um, and, and you do the same thing. You check, you reset it, flush it, and make sure it's melt positions. But melt position mainly if the catheter is not in the right position give you these low amplitude wave wave forms so we need to pay attention and we don't take it for granted that this arterial line as long as there is a waveform it's accurate so you need to pay attention to the spiked and the flat or more or low amplitude wave form you want something like this to see which we could see here is the systole the aortic valve close and then diastole so again, this is how you titrate the vasopressor based on the map. This is how nurses track second by second the blood pressure. This is way more accurate and more convenient for um, blood pressure monitoring in, in critically ill patients.